what's going on guys welcome back today we're going to talk about the diamond model so the diamond model is as you know guys as i told you in the last video it's part or it's a framework cyber threat intelligence framework so in the past video we talked about cyber threat intelligence and we presented some of the frameworks that we will talk about in the upcoming videos today we will start with the diamond model and in the upcoming videos we're going to talk about cyber kill chain the mitre ht and ck and the unified kill chain as well okay Let's start with the diamond model here. So first we start with the definition. So a diamond model is cyber threat intelligence framework used to study intrusions, incidents, and attackers. So basically it's called diamond model because we depict intrusions or incidents as a diamond, as you will see here. So we depict intrusion as diamond and of course, at the end, we study the attacker profile. We aim to, f to build an attacker profile, okay? The objective is to build an attacker profile and to strengthen the security controls of your parameters. That's the definition. Now let's talk about the components, the components of the diamond model. The first component is the victim. As you can see here, the next component is the infrastructure, here, this is the capabilities and the adversary. As you can see, we depict them in using this model to indicate a diamond. Okay. Now, let's talk about them one by one. So the adversary is the attacker that stands behind the cyber attack. Can be single individual or can be an organization. Okay. So it's simply the adversary, right? The victim. The victim, again, can also be a single individual the organization can be an IP address, can be an email address, can be also a domain name. So the victim is the uh, organization individual being under the attack. So when we talk about the victim, there are a couple of distinctions we have to make. First, we have the victim persona, and then we have the victim assets. The victim persona is the organization or the individual owning the asset that's being under attack. Okay, so can be a network, can be a single device, an IT asset. So the organization or the individual owning that device is the victim persona. The victim assets is the actual infrastructure being under attack. Can be emails, domain names, networks, uh, servers as well. Okay, then we have the capabilities. The capabilities are the skills, the tactics, techniques and procedures employed by the attacker or the adversary so as you can see between the adversary and the objective we have the capabilities as an important catalyst for the success of the cyber attack the capabilities can be skills of the attacker and it can also be the tactics techniques and procedures employed by the attacker again with the capabilities we have a couple of distinctions to make first we have the capacity and then we have the arsenal the capacity is the limit to the limit by which the skills and TTPs are actually or, can, or the limits by, wi by which the skills and the TTPs can be applied or can be uh, yeah, applied against the victim. An example, for example, you have an adversary discovering vulnerabilities uh, on the victim machine, for example, on the victim the network. Okay, so they are limited by these vulnerabilities to implement or to achieve successful exploitation, right? So that's we, we call it the capacity, the capacity of the capabilities. The arsenal are the set of tools that are under the attacker control. Lastly, we have the infrastructure. So the infrastructure here is the software or hardware used by the attacker. Let's go to infrastructure. So the software or hardware used by the attacker. Okay, let's remove this. Now again, the infrastructure has many types. First we have type 1. Type 1 is the infrastructure that's owned directly by the attacker, directly under the control of the attacker. It's their own proprietary infrastructure. Type 2, on the opposite, it is not under the control or not owned by the attacker. It is the intermediary. Intermediary infrastructure can be um, compromised assets. Email, compromised emails, compromised domains that attacker can use to obfuscate their real identity. And lastly, we have service providers. Service providers provide the service that attacker can use 
indirectly against the victim. For example, hosting providers. You register in a hosting company, you build a server and use that server to launch cyber attacks. We call this service provider infrastructure. Okay. So, as you can see here, let me show you one paper. I'm going to put the link in the description. As you can see, this depicts the relationship between these four uh, components of the diamond model, right? So this is the adversary, okay? Adversary uses the infrastructure, okay? And it develops the capabilities. So the capabilities can be used to exploit the victim and the infrastructure can be used to connect with the victim. So that's the uh, complete relationship between the four components. It all starts at the adversary. The cyber attack starts here, it ends here. But when you uh, deploy the diamond model to analyze the incident, you start here. You start at the victim, you discover the, infra discover the capabilities of the attack, and then you discover the infrastructure, and lastly, hopefully, you will be able to, adv to identify the adversary. Okay, so meta features. Let's talk about the meta features. Meta features are additional components that can be added to the diamond model when analyzing intrusions. The first thing is the timestamp. Timestamp can be date and time, and this is an example of timestamp. It's very important, especially when it comes to forensics. So if you can put timestamps to the events you have analyzed, it's going to be very great for your analysis. Next, we have the phase. The phase here, while analyzing the event according to the diamond model, we try to uh, match everything to the cyber kill chain or Lockheed Martin cyber kill chain, which is composed of seven phases. We will explain in the upcoming videos. The result is the impact of the cyber attack. An example would be the impact on the CIA, the confidentiality, the integrity or availability. A direction. We already saw the direction in the diamond model. The resources are extra or additional uh, hardware, software tools that can the attacker employ against the victim. Okay, last let's take now a practical example. Okay, from try hack me to demonstrate this. So let's see here. Look for the diamond model. Let's see what is the diamond model. This is the diamond model. Okay, let's go down there and immediately to the practical analysis. So let's view the site. So here we have the a diamond model. Okay, we have to click on every triangle. Clicking on every triangle reveals a question. If you answer the question correctly, it will highlight the triangle with the green color indicating that we completed the components. Let's click on this one. So this is the question. Attackers gained access using legitimate credentials that were gained as a result of a phishing attack. So, what does this stage match to which of the following? So we have victim, technique, and capability. Clearly, this is the capability. It's the attacker's capability to build a phishing email and acquire credentials. So it's capability. Next one. Once the attackers gained access to the network, they pivoted to the internal databases and file shares. So they get access to their uh, preliminary target. Now they want to expand access to include other targets. So this is the methodology. The attacker's steps can be followed using the phases of what cyber kill chain model. We talked about this when we explained the meta features. It's the Lockheed Martin's cyber kill chain. The incident response team has determined that a group of notorious underground hackers named APT 2166 are responsible for the attack. So we have identified the adversary here. So it matches to the adversary component. The attack occurred, well, this is very clear. It matches to the timeline of the attack. The attackers targeted the information technology system of the corporation. Here you have the victim, you identified the victim. So this is the victim. The attackers use a recent malware a campaign known as one trick to ransomware the cooperation servers. So as you can see guys here, this is a resource that was under the attacker's uh, hand to use against the victim. So we call this resource. 
the attackers stole data from the corporation and sold it on the underground hacking forum this is data exfiltration now it can be result and can be objective i know it's confusing but according to the cyber kill chain lockheed martin is objective however on the diamond model it matches to the result meta feature so that's your tag i hope you like i hope you guys like this in the upcoming videos we're going to complete talking about other cyber threat intelligence frameworks thank you for watching and before i close i summarized um, the cyber threat intelligence definition components details framework under this paper i will be adding more of course uh, later on you can find it in the google drive if you are subscribed to the channel membership thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video